This is Svetlana. She's my foster kitten who is super sweet and also super sneezy. When Svetlana arrived, she had a really bad upper respiratory infection. So she was on some antibiotics for seven days. And after being on those antibiotics, uh, she has recovered quite a lot, but she is still sneezing so very much. So our veterinarian recommended that I start giving her some nebulizer treatment. A nebulizer is a super handy tool that any foster parent should have on hand. They're affordable, they're easy to use, and today I'm gonna to show you how I use mine with Svetlana so that hopefully it empowers you to feel like you know how to use nebulizer treatment at home with your foster kittens. It should go without saying, but always consult a veterinarian before giving any kind of treatment to a kitten. A veterinarian is going to be able to diagnose your kitten and provide recommendations for treatment, as well as prescriptions for any medications that are necessary. Now, Svetlana, did you fall asleep? Okay, that should make this easy. When she's at rest, I can hear that there is some mucus in her airway. And what I wanna do is help to loosen that up and hopefully get that out of her system. So this is a nebulizer. This is a really small one. I like using these little ones because um, they're pretty silent and they're handheld. They're actually really affordable. You can get one for like 25, 30 bucks. And all it does is turn liquids into a mist that can be inhaled. So a nebulizer is useful for kittens who have an upper respiratory infection or for kittens who have pneumonia. So when you're shopping for a nebulizer, you're just gonna buy one that is for humans um, and you can adjust it to make it work for animals. Uh, this is a pretty simple one. It has this little chamber right here where you put your liquids and then it has just a on button right here. And then this is where it actually comes out. Um, and if you are using it on a human, this is like a mouthpiece and these holes here um, are there so that you can breathe in and out. Um, for a kitten, we're not gonna put this in their mouth. We're just going to hold this near them. Uh, so we can actually close over these holes with some tape so that we're delivering a direct stream of the mist to them. So as for what goes into your nebulizer, um, you wanna be really careful about this. You need to know what to put inside your nebulizer because you're not ever just putting like tap water or something like that. The only thing that is appropriate to put into your nebulizer that you can get at a drugstore is sterile saline. So anybody can go to a drugstore or online and get sterile saline and a nebulizer. But there are some prescription medications you can talk to a veterinarian about um, that you can also add to make a nebulizer cocktail. Uh, this is acetylcysteine and that is what we're going to be using today. This is a drug that can help to break up mucus. And this is something that we're gonna add to her sterile saline. I'm using this because our veterinarian is the one who uh, gave me this and who told me to use it for Svetlana. So talk to a vet. Something important to know about acetylcysteine is it's only good for 96 hours once you open it. So you wanna write the date on there and make sure you toss it after 96 hours. Another drug that your veterinarian might recommend is gentamicin. These are often used together in a nebulizer solution, gentamicin, acetylcysteine, and sterile saline. Gentamicin is an antibiotic and we do not need that for Svetlana today. So please make sure you're talking to a vet and finding out what they want you to use and how much. So I'm popping the seal off of the top of the acetylcysteine. Now for your sterile saline, I really love getting these little sodium chloride sterile solution pre-filled syringes because it's super easy to just grab one. Um, and this uh, solution we're gonna be making today is four cc's of saline. And I'm just going to add four cc's. And then I'm going to add 0.75 of my acetylcysteine. So I have my one cc syringe here and a fresh needle. And I'm gonna pull up 0.75. Now that just goes into the saline. And that's what we're using today. So once you have your solution ready, you can give it to your kitten. Now, if you have a kitten who's taking a nap or who is sitting very still, 
you may be able to just hold this really close to their face and they'll be able to inhale it that way. So all I'm gonna do is turn it on and you'll see some mist come out. Sometimes kittens really actually enjoy having a breathing treatment, especially if they need it. They can kind of feel that it actually feels quite good. Are you gonna play with that? So if we can give it to her like this, that's great. <laughs> what do you think, Sveta? What you may see sometimes is kittens may even do some <laughs> sneezing while they're getting it. You know, that is helping to break up some of her congestion. So that's a good thing. Get that out of there, girl. So you want to talk to your veterinarian about how often to do this and how long to do it. Um, for Svetlana, she's going to get it about three times a day for about four days. Now, if you have a kitten who is not wanting to sit still, which let's be honest, is most kittens, um, here's another option you can do. You can actually take just a bin like this or even a kennel and you can take your nebulizer and stick it inside. Then you can put your kitten inside and turn it on. And then you can just take a light blanket and cover it up. And now Svetlana can inhale her nebulizer solution and she can still breathe. Obviously, I'm not putting a lid on this, just a light blanket. And I can actually look in and see her and say, hi Sveta. So she can just stay in there for the duration. Most of the time, this is gonna be the best option for kittens, I'll be honest. You know, because they're very playful. <laughs> and they move around a lot, and once they're in a little chamber like this, that's okay. Obviously, the bigger the chamber, the more the mist is going to dissipate. So you wanna keep it kinda of small. I really like these, you know, little storage bins. And hey, if the kitten's getting bored, you can toss them a little toy. Boop. So if you're doing kitten care, a nebulizer is a great thing to have in your tool belt. I would recommend to all kitten foster parents to have a small nebulizer on hand and a little bit of sterile saline. And hey, it doesn't hurt to have a good vet to talk to about medicated solutions as well. Okay, so she's done with her nebulizer. And you can see whoop, it made a nice little misty area in there. Hey girl. So she's been able to inhale all of that over the course of the last 10 minutes. And now you're done. You wanna come out? Here we go, girl. So that's a little bit about nebulizers and kittens. You can safely use a nebulizer with only sterile saline two to three times a day for as many days as your kitten needs. But if you're using any medicated inhalants, make sure that you are talking to a veterinarian about how often and how much to use. After you're done, make sure that you put away everything where it goes and clean and sanitize your nebulizer between use. You can find some links for the products that I use in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.